Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis. Let's talk about one of my favorite comic series ever. This is in no way my attempt to justify my comic book obsession. And this story, I really, really like. Artwork, the storytelling. So last year, after various rumors and possibilities, an animated adaptation of the comic book Chew was announced as being in production, and I was super excited. Based on the series Chew by Image Comics, written by John Lehman with art by Rob Guillory. And last year when they made the announcement, they announced that Stephen Yun from The Walking Dead is going to be the one to voice act the main character, Tony. And that the amazing Felicia Day was going to be Tony's girlfriend, Amelia Mintz. I say I was super excited. I still am super excited. Of course I'm super excited. I'm a huge Chew fan. I own every single issue thus far, and I even own all of the trades. I have this issue signed by Rob and John. Convention exclusives, each with their own sketch. See? This issue number one is from Mexico. I have the Omnivore editions, the Smorgasbord editions, and I even have an incredibly pristine first printing copy of number one. This is one of the most expensive comics that I've ever purchased. Totally worth it. Not to mention it won Best New Series at the Eisner Awards in 2010, so I'm not the only one loving the series. So why am I telling you all of this right now, besides as an excuse to show off all of my Chew stuff? Well, the animated feature has been in production for a while, but there's been a bit of radio silence as of late. And today it was announced that David Tennant, this David Tennant, Doctor Who David Tennant, will be voice acting the character Mason Savoy, the good guy turned bad guy turned I don't want to ruin anything for you. He has an incredibly expansive vocabulary and he's an expert martial artist and there's a shot of him. Casting David Tennant as Mason Savoy is a huge deal. Savoy is a key character in the series and Tennant, the gigantic star that he is, will bring legions of fans to the adaptation that wouldn't have normally given it a second look. So let's talk about Chew for a little bit because I'm assuming that a lot of you just clicked the link because you saw David Tennant up there. So let's get you up to speed. So the main character, Tony Chew, he's a Sibopath, which is a made up term for the comic, which means that he gets psychic impressions from any food that he eats except for beets. In this strange future, the US government has outlawed all eating of poultry after a bird flu killed a gigantic portion of the population. There's essentially a prohibition on chicken. Tony Chu becomes employed by the FDA using his psychic powers to help solve food-related crimes. Yes, that FDA. I own this book specifically to lend out to friends to try to get them interested in Chu, and I figured out about two-thirds of them don't really get interested in the series, but every now and then I have that friend that's like, oh my god, this is fantastic. And I get it. Chew isn't for everyone. It's a weird little world that Layman and Guillory have cooked up, and I think the reason that it's so strange is also the reason why it's so popular. Remember Best New Series Award? Chew makes a lot of jokes about the overdone buddy cop routine, which they're also guilty of, but they're aware that it's funny that they're doing that whole thing, but the villains and the heroes, a lot of them have these really interesting powers that haven't been imagined before, and a lot of these superpowers that these people have are centered around food. For example, there's a guy who can sculpt chocolate into anything and it will mimic the real life counterpart. If you give him enough chocolate, he could make a working machine gun made out of chocolate. There's a gal that can write about food and she can write about it so vividly that anyone who reads her critic review gets a sensation of taste in their mouth. They taste the food that she's describing because she does it so well. There's a guy who gains information on anything he wants as long as he's eating, which uh, spoiler alert, causes him to get rather large. There's a girl that can briefly see into the future of any living organism after consuming something. There's a guy who takes on the form of the last thing that he ate, which isn't really a power for good and evil, it's just a thing that happens to him. And then there's Poyo, the biomechanical cybernetic fighting chicken. Seriously, he becomes a doomsday weapon for the USDA. So you know how I said that Tony gets psychic impressions of the things that he eats? Well, in the very first issue, he's going after a serial killer, and he's trying to get the names of the serial killer's victims, and the serial killer doesn't want to give up any information, so he kills himself. But Tony gets the names anyway. You want to see how? Yeah. Tony always gets his information. I love the artwork. Guillory is fantastic, and he really brings the series to life. And John Lehman's writing is wonderfully fresh. All of the characters have these very distinct personalities, and the story kind of jumps around sometimes and makes you pay attention, but it's done incredibly well. At the end of every issue, I find myself thinking, oh, that's it? 
No, I, w I want to read more. So back to Tennant and Chu. Yesterday, David Tennant recorded some lines for Mason Savoy and John Lehman said it was quote unquote, Phenomenal. Lehman said that Tennant has this gravely Orson Welles-esque style, which seems like it fits with the character. So now I'm even more excited for this animated feature to bring the series to life and to put it in front of faces of people who normally wouldn't give Chu a chance. But I hope from my little synopsis that some of you will go out and actually pick up the series Chu because, like I said, it's great. And if you've read Chu before, if you're a fan of Chu, let me know down below because I don't think that there are enough of us. So show me that I'm wrong. But anyway, my name is Travis. You've been watching The Pull List. Thank you for fueling my comic book obsession and you will see me later. And the smorg... And the smorgasbord? And the sh... Pfft. Bah, smoke is bird, the smoke is bird. It's a smirk, 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 smirk.